Hey guys, you found any Easter eggs here? Nope, afraid not, Percy. Dang, where else could they be hidden then? I've spoken to Duck, Salty, and Arthur. None of them have found any Easter eggs either. Edward told me he knew where to find some, but he wanted me to follow him up an old abandoned track, and that didn't seem safe. Ugh, Gordon and Henry must have found them all before the rest of us woke up. Uh, yeah, that could be. Should we tell him? Yes, I think so. Percy, the Easter Bunny, well, he... Percy the Easter Bunny isn't real. What? What the troublesome truck are you talking about? What did you think I was going to tell him? The truth! That the Easter Bunny didn't come this year because of his encounter with Sir Topham Hat last year. Oh, please, don't tell me even you're that naive. Listen to me, both of you. The Easter Bunny isn't real. He was invented by confectionery companies to sell chocolate. Simple as that. Valentine's Day and Halloween are the same. Thomas, is this true? No, of course not. He's talking absolute boiler sludge. Oh, come on. Easter doesn't even make sense. What does a rabbit delivering chocolate eggs have to do with the resurrection of Jesus? They didn't even have chocolate back then. Why do you hate Easter, James? Can you not eat chocolate? Are you lactose intolerant? I don't hate Easter. And none of us can eat chocolate. We're steam locomotives. We... Where'd you get that? The Easter Bunny. Uh, guys, this is getting kind of weird. I'm gonna go. I think it's time for me to leave, too. Running away, huh? No. You're just feeling too much. Yo, I should have bought the engines without the faces. Ahem. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment, Topham. Uh-oh.